guys so today we're doing a short little minute, short video a um, just a trial I guess you could say which works best so this trim this little bitty camper trim I've done it in the bathroom if you go back you can see that I use my daughter's like art craft paint brushes the little bitty ones they're actually too small for it regular paint brushes I think the smallest I have is a one inch brush or a half inch brush maybe um, I don't remember what size it is either way it's too big so we're gonna try three options we got today and just see how they work out. I found this cool little corner roller deal at the store. My plan is to not get paint on the whole thing, but just get it at the tip, and I don't even know how that's gonna work out. Like, it might not work. We'll try that. I got this trim it kit. Of course, we got a little roller in here. That's great, we're not using that today. But we got this little foam corner edge brush. We'll try that. We'll put just a little bit of paint in here and give that a go. And then, of course, I already threw away these art brushes. That was the label. And I feel like the big one there is nice and straight. It's big enough. So we got basically three options here. We're going to try them out, and we're going to see what works best for us. So let's dive in get a little painting done let's see if one of these works really smooth so I put this tiny little bit of blue in here I'll start with this one I'm thinking this roller thing I kind of want to get just to a spot where there's not tons of paint in there because I just want to use a small amount for it so we're gonna try this option first just try it for a couple minutes or two and see how that works out for us I've already got it on the wall So with my brushes, with my Purdy, my, my higher quality brand brushes, I can see exactly where I'm at with this thing right now because it's foam and it doesn't really move. I can't exactly see where I'm touching, what I'm doing. Now I will say this does pretty good. And what I could do is come back with my other brush because you I could butt right up next to this stuff with my D, you know, and just get, so I could touch up around the edges of this again. And I think it'll look pretty good. Ah, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to, so this is an option. It's okay, it's not great. It is a possibility I do this whole trim with this, knowing I'm gonna come back with my high dollar brush and do some white on the ceiling and just get right up next to it and then just do the trim, the wall color, once again. This is a potential. And of course, now I'm starting to get more and more off of, the, off of it. Ooh, that wasn't very good. So that's getting kind of rough. That's sketchy. Now let's try this goofy roller thing. What I would love to see happen is the paint's right there on our edges and the foam itself keeps this from getting on other stuff. But let's see if that works or not. Nope, that's getting paint everywhere. Now if you're painting in a corner and you're all staying one color this might be a great option it's gonna really get up into that corner and it'll probably go pretty quick but trying to stay like this with the opposite color with a trim color that's making a mess I've got a mess to clean up here and the most boring but probably the best option right here this brush is very very stiff I really expected this to be the winning option of the three I didn't know if any of these would work great or not, but I thought it'd be a fun little trial and error, and I expected the size of this and the stiffness of it to work out. But it just didn't work as I envisioned it to. I found that this brush, like definitely the stray bristles, I guess you could say, I, I was getting paint all over the place. I'm gonna go back to that foam brush for a minute. Well, let me try this for another minute or two. Here's the moral already. 
you see how bad this is going. There's no easy fix here. There's no magic trim brush for this job. Now these tools all have a place. And if you're doing some larger trim, if you're doing, let's say, a window trim or something in your house, these tools have a place for that and they're probably helpful and they probably make quick work of some things. This particular situation, the situation I'm testing today, this camper tiny little bead trim thing, there's no magic trick to it. There's no magic solution. Your solution is just good old fashioned time. Um, this art brush, a larger art brush is working fairly well. I was really hoping that roller thing was going to just be like magical and you know that I was just going to like roll it in a pass and be like whoop done but you just can't control the paint enough to have a perfect on the end and just run with it I think maybe our best option is that little foam triangle brush for this But I'm still, I'm giving each one a fair couple minutes to determine my final results. As you see from all of this paint that's getting on stuff, none of them are great. What else is disappointing is the coverage is not super thick. I think it'll be good enough for single coverage. Because you got to really be paying attention to notice. But I was hoping it'd be a little better than that. So let me use this foam one for another minute or two. We'll get this corner and I'll make my final determination for you guys. Yeah, no doubt. This is the best option for what I'm doing today. For this test particularly, this is our best bet. It goes on the smoothest. It's hard to see exactly where I'm at. But if you're steady, it's not got any random. Actually, the results speak for themselves. Okay, that corner there, or that run I just did now, versus what I did with that little brush a minute ago. So, this is a little bit of a different video. Any of them, I am going to have to touch up and go with my good brush and just come up and get butted right up to it. But this is our best option. <clears throat> now you know, little trial and error experiment for myself, guys. This is how I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish this job on my own. And I'm back guys. Um, after touching up both the ceiling and the wall, I just, I felt like it would have been weird to finish the video doing a comparison of which is gonna be the best trim, uh, trim brush or trim tool to use and finishing the video with all the bad, with the blue hitting up everything else. So we determined which one worked best but it still needed touched up on either side. And I just wanted to close things out by showing you, you know, I came back with my brush right here. This is a pretty one inch brush. I think that's what it is, one inch, yeah. And touched up the ceiling. It's a lot easier with this brush to get close up to that little, that trim, that border, and then cleaned it out and then did the same with the wall with the other color. So all in all, I think it looks pretty decent, pretty good. Um, I had a hard time with this trim because it's so small, but I think we got it done in the end. So, so there you have it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.